Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So, I got a new gadget I just got. Uh, ordered it off Amazon. It's uh, going to help me when I'm testing batteries and things like that. It's actually a battery monitor. Now, I have a, a trimetric battery monitor that I've had for many, many years in the trailer. And I have that hooked to my main battery bank. And that's usually what I use to check voltage and amps and percentage left in batteries. But I'm doing an awful lot of testing of lithium batteries and reviews these days. So it's kind of a pain to, to check them with uh, various gear that I have. So I wanted to get a solution that would make it very easy for me. So I found this on Amazon. It's called a Cooler Tron. Nice name. It's also, I've seen it in all kinds of other names. Um, one popular one is called Junk Tech. Nice name, a eh? Junk Tech. <laughs> Anyway, this was on Amazon Canada, went for about a hundred bucks. I've seen it on Amazon US for about 85. And uh, what it's going to do is hook up <clears throat> to a battery that I'm testing. And uh, it has a shunt and everything. And it'll have a display. And also it has Bluetooth so I can look on my phone. And it'll give me voltage and amps and amp hours, all that sort of critical information when testing batteries. So... We'll give you a look at this and then show you where I'm going to install. I'm kind of creating a little test bed in my front storage compartment for testing batteries. There we go here. It's the kit, owner's manual. This is the main little box that you hook everything up to. You can hook either uh, self power from the battery you're testing or you can have external power. It's also able to uh, run a relay um, output control so you could have this thing do low or high voltage disconnect if you like I won't be using that but it's possible then there's a little display that you uh, mount wherever you like and some kind of telephone wire for extending it and here we have the shunt so this model is a 400 amp shunt so that's going to measure the the current going in and out of the battery like some little mounting pads, more gadgets, and the wiring. So let's get to hooking up and we'll give her a test. We'll let you see it in action. Okay, here we go. Got it uh, hooked up to my system. Now I actually have two systems going on here. My main battery bank is in here. And then this is kind of the area I'm going to use as a test bed right now. I'm testing a pair of uh, defund batteries. So I just wanted this for a test, so I'm not going to permanently mount it or anything like that. It's just going to be loose. So you can see I put the, the shunt here right off the negative terminal. So it goes through the shunt, and then the shunt data plug is plugged into this part here, which is the main brain of the unit, I guess. And also, just for kicks, put the temperature probe on there. And then we have the display. And then this thing here, you can hook up um, power and ground to power the, the unit and the display. Uh, or you can wire it for three. So if you wire two, then whatever battery you're testing powers the system. Or you can have an external power. So right now I have it going to external power. That's actually the converter charger in my RV. So that means if this power goes away, it still uh, will read out on the display. Just a choice there. Anyway, here's the display. It's actually quite nice. Nice and bright, easy to see. Just zoom in here, give you a look. I'll go through some of the stuff that's on that display and explain it to you. So of course, here's the voltage of the battery. This is the, the current amperage going in or out. Right now, it looks like it's going out. And then it's the wattage and then the kilowatt hours you've used. Here we have the battery life that's left and then your amp hours that are left. So that's why I want it. So when I'm testing batteries, I'll be able to look at voltage and current and amp hours and the kilowatt hours and watts, that sort of thing. You can see up here, there's the, the temperature. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here for setting uh, a external relay if you wanted to set it so that it would uh, turn voltages it would turn the batteries on and off like over voltage protection 
overcurrent protection, undercurrent protection, under voltage protection, temperature protection, all sorts of things, but I won't be using that. But just give you a quick look at all the the screen. You have all sorts of settings here you can go through. I won't bore you with all of them, but it actually is quite uh, quite a lot of stuff this little box does. Anyway, let's go inside and have ourselves a gander at the app because this, this particular one I got has the display, but it also has a Bluetooth module so I can download an app and use that. So here we are hooked up to the app. I downloaded it off the Play Store and uh, you can see model KG140F here. And we got voltage right there and you can set voltage range. Basically, you're setting that for the little dial there. And then here's the current. I've turned on my solar power so you can see it's charging pretty close to 40 amps there. And then it's showing you the wattage. And then you can see the little battery. It's showing that it's charging up. Showing you the extent, ex, ex, external temperature right there. A few other things down there. Also, it does a kind of a curve thing. So you can... Uh, check out your voltage and current over time which might come handy when in handy when I'm testing the lithium batteries I can kind of see when they roll off and you can do voltage history different settings so these are all the protection settings you've got over voltage protection under voltage protection over current protection under over temperature protection all kinds of different things there's your relay mode so you'd have to buy your own external relay and then you could disconnect a load at whenever time you want, even as a firmware upgrade here. And then they got a, a website and everything. So I think this is going to be a handy tool for me. So you'll see this in some of my uh, test and review videos going forward with different solar and battery systems. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video, let you look at that. Um, I'll come back at, over time and see how it has performed. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.